Hey guys, this is Pat from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And this uh, last weekend, Heidi and I and another friend of ours went out for a little ride to see what we could find at garage sales this weekend, our little town. And I came across a set of Chester drawers. The youngest son, Justin, has been looking for a set of Chester drawers for his place he's moved into. I think it's probably about a 19... 40s, maybe 1950s vintage uh, piece of furniture. And so over the years it's got a little bit of wear. I wanted to show you some of the details of it and what I'm going to do to do a quick fix on the piece of furniture. I'm not going to do a big full uh, full on restoration with it. So, but he just wanted something to, you know, he said it's fine the way it is, Dad, but, you know, I wanted to go ahead and fix a couple of the, the few things that are wrong with it. So, anyways, cosmetically it's not really pretty unless you're into the retro or the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the distressed look. <laughs> it's got natural distressed features to it. So I'll go ahead and take you on a little tour of the set of chest drawers and what I plan to do with it. Okay, upon initial uh, observation here, I noticed that one of the seams here is got a crack in it on the top where the, once they had glued it together and the glue has come apart. You can see it just has some natural wear, just some cosmetics to it. Um, obviously it's not a real high end piece, but it's kind of neat. It's got little raised panels in it. Or, I uh, can't remember if it's called race panels or what, but uh, anyway, um, I did notice that it has some hand cut dovetails in it, which is a real nice little feature. The drawers are still really solid. This, this here looks to me like it's Douglas fir, and you know, it's just got some natural wear running back and forth. This whole thing is wood. Um, the few fasteners that are in here are these little stop tabs for when you push the drawer when you push the drawer in this comes up against the bottom part of the drawer and keeps the drawer from sliding back any further I noticed I noticed that there's one missing on this side so obviously the drawer gets bound when you're trying to pull it back out again cuz this side here you can push in further than you can that side over there so obviously when you go to push the drawer in, this side will push in, this side will shut where it's supposed to be, but the front of the dresser is not quite visually correct. This uh, looks like it's quarter inch plywood has come out of the dado joint there. So what I'll do is I'll push that back into the dado and I'll put some more robust glue in here to hold that. I'll just have to remove this nail and get that back into where the drawer is going to, the drawer bottom will be nice and flat and supportive. Just little things like that. Um, you know, the drawers actually function quite nicely. And so, uh, what I'll do also do is I'll put some of my wood treatment that I use for um, food grade type applications. It's a mixture of beeswax and coconut oil, and that'll help that. I'll put this on the slide here and on the drawer bottoms, and that'll help that to help that as far as the friction. So on the bottom here, we have a part that's broken, so I have to repair that. Um, there's a couple of these drawers in here. The bottoms are actually broken on the bottoms of the drawers. This one here has been worn so I'll have to figure out what's causing this problem here. I don't remember which drawer it is but this part here is, is actually broken off up to a certain area as to a, to a certain length and so now I gotta do some repair on another part of the drawer. I see this little tab here needs to be bent forward a little bit readjusted to match the other ones uh, there's another spot here where this has come unglued, so I'm going to have to 
somehow glue this back and fasten this back together again and blend that in. I may at this point just apply some dark stain over top of what this is, wipe it down really good, and maybe put some Danish oil on it to subdue some of the uh, scratches, the heavy scratches on it. You can see where a drawer, this drawer here has been rubbing against this piece being, by being pulled in and out. So I might see if I can't raise that up a little bit and keep that from rubbing against the bottom of this. It might just be as simple as taking a little bit off of the bottom of the drawer. As you can see, one way of doing that is just taking maybe a sixteenth or an eighteenth of an inch off of the bottom of the drawer. That will keep this from rubbing anymore. So, um, by putting some of the dark stain on here, that will subdue all of these light scratches here, actually. Um, what I mean by he light scratches is that they're not really a deep scratch and this will still give some of that um, distressed look without being really obvious or really stark I guess so um, I think he'll be happy with it he was happy with it when he seen it <laughs> so I think he'll be even more happy with it when he finds out that the drawers slide in and out nicely and um, He'd be able to have a place to store his clothes. So this is just a little uh, previewing of what I'm going to do with this set of Chester drawers. And I hope that you enjoy my restoration. So thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.